looking up to God. Let's pray for our mommy. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to say, Sister, may God he or she understand by that word, God's chase and all the chase are of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We start to follow God and start to go after me. Hallelujah. Let's go for our baby. Amen. And that person. Give you whatever 
life, you know, the attention, that attention you needed for me. Amen. Hallelujah. So that was all about the introduction we were able to see that last time. So by the grace of God today, we are going to be going straight to see the first lesson after. We have two lessons after says, the fourth one says, examples of God Jesus. So we are going to be seeing examples of God Jesus in the Bible. It's not just for us to be still, to just be still, you know, this place. We need to see the examples of people that chase after God and the God's results. No, the people that they are chased, we are everything in this place. There are people that, you know, that God has picked their name. You know, they are never everything in the Bible for our own good. Amen. For us to learn something from them, they are role model. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the second one says that God chased us now. So we are going to be saying that maybe by the grace of God as time from this week, that will be from next week. But today we want to see the examples of God's chase. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just really want to drop this to our mind this afternoon. No, it's not in our Sunday school. Let's quickly, uh, let's quickly see the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13. Because some of us might say that we don't know why they call God and because it's Yes, and God is not answering me, answering me. That is why I just want to stay back. I want to go and do God, no? And once, go and do it on my own way. Amen. So let's even see what the Bible is saying in that book, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 30. If you are there before me, please let me to read. That is not your answer to do, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I just want to drop things that Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. Jeremiah 29. Nine, verse 13. 13 says, And ye shall seek me and find me when, when, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Hallelujah. Do we understand that? Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13 says, And ye shall seek me with all your heart. Say, And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Amen. You understand that? So, with all your heart, just when you say, Ah, not to buy the wrong God. Ah, this challenge, this is too much. Ah, be serving God. Maybe you are doing it in a wrong way. You are not doing it wholeheartedly. Mm. So, the Bible says that God is speaking in this place. Say, When you search me with all your heart, say so you will find me. So, this God that we are serving is not that so, it's not a giving God. It's not a God that is so wicked that doesn't want to show us for our condition, for our challenges. But God is searching all of our hearts. So, remember what I'm talking about chasing. So, if you remember, it goes to the just uh, like the explanation I gave before. I remember, you know, those years when they were in Nigeria, when they are chasing after women, especially if it's a woman that you love, it can cost you a lot, even if it. Even, even if you know, it's almost taking your life, you just want to get out of the way. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember those years, you know, there is a point that was chasing after my sister. So, to so the end of it, my sister went to go and go to where the man hid in the corner in the night and flogged this guy. This guy was there and running after my, after my sister. Hallelujah. Because what? He knew what he wanted. He doesn't want to give up. But some of us today, we just run after God, and whether it is not coming for us, or maybe one thing or the other, maybe slight, uh, whatever challenges God's concerning. I bet that uh, if not, it's not fit, this God said. Since when I can run after God, what's it do for me? Mm. Let me go and go to the other side. No! You keep on chasing until you get it. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I just want to drop that understanding for us so that this will understand when we are chasing after God, we know the reason why we are chasing after Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Because everything we need in this world is in His hand. If we know to get this understanding that everything we need is in God's hand, so we definitely we will put ourselves together to make sure we run after Him all together with us. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. But the Holy Spirit give us that understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's go straight to the first lesson. I find the same examples of God, Jesus. I'm reading for myself this woman. Said the Bible records examples of those who diligently sought after God and were found. You see that? So when you diligently seek God, you will find him. 
said they include Enoch. That we just read that last week. Enoch. We saw it in the book of Genesis chapter 5, verse 22 and 24. We are still going to read it. Let's open our Bible. Brother David, are you there, sir? Yes. Okay, read for us, sir. Genesis chapter 5, verse 22 and 24. 22 said, And Enoch walked with God after he began the Sarah, till he already years, and because sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years, 24. And Enoch walked with God, and it was not, for God took him. Amen. So Enoch walked with God, and it was not. In case maybe you are confused, let's, let's see the confirmation in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 5. Hebrews 11, verse 5. Let's see the confirmation of that word. Hebrew 11, verse 5. Hebrew 11, verse 5. By faith. Yes, right. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. I was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased God. He pleased God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, why did I tell you to read it in this place? So as we are talking about the people that live by faith, you understand? Amen. So we are talking about the faith, yeah. So he said by faith, Aaron was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. He said for before his translation, he has his testimony that he pleased God. God. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. So he has this testimony that he pleased God. So no one can please God except by faith. No one can work with God in fact of it. So without faith it is impossible to please him. So you see, so because of faith, so we work with God. The Genesis make us the Bible, the book of Genesis make us understand that we work with God. Enoch did not die. He did not die like Elijah. They did not die. Why? Because they work with God. There are many things as a believer. You know, when we go to God, there are many benefits. You will not die. Amen. Amen. Spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, you will not die. Amen. When you go to Him, wholeheartedly. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So that is one of the examples we find in the Bible. I know that people might be wondering and say, ah, these are the Bible, these are these, these are the people in the Bible. You know that this is that the people in the Bible, you and I, I also know our name, we will walk with God. Though the Bible is already this, our name is also a Bible. After we have read this word, people will be using us like our application with the Hosanna. So we are still using it as an Abraham model. There are so many things that are great fathers in the world, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the faith today. We are using them as an example. We are learning from them. Don't worry, your name is not in the Bible, but their name is our own, but they are our brother. We are learning after them. The example, the legacy. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray God Almighty will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So let's read on. Let's see another example in the Bible. <coughs> so it said Moses. Talk about Moses. Moses, that's not chapter 33, verse 13 to 23. So let's see the story of, of Moses. So the people that chase after God. Remember, we're looking at these examples of God's chase and those that chase after God. So let's see the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 13 to 23. Exodus 33, verse 13 to 23. Book of Exodus, you see after Genesis. Amen. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 33. First read of this. 13. Okay, sir. Now, therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in the sight, show me now the way that I may pray thee, that I may find grace in the sight. I consider that this nation is my is the people. 14. And he said, My presence shall be with you, 
and I will give thee rest. 15. I said unto him, If, if the present go not with me, I was not all else. 16. For where I am, Said be no, there that I and the people have found place in the side. It is not in that do go us west with us. So shall we be separated, I and the people, from all the people that are on the face of the earth. 17. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this, this also that they are spoken. For thou hast found place in the sight, and I know thee by name. 18. He said, I beseech you, so may the glory. And he said, I will speak all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will be so mercy for whom I will so mercy. 20. And he said, Thou cast not see my face, they cannot see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. 21. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and those are stamped upon your rock. 22. And it shall come to pass, while my glory pass by, that I will put thee in the cliff of the rock. And I will cover thee with my hand while I pass by the last pass. And I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back pass, but my face shall not be seen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for the reading. Amen. So we are seeing another example of people that walk with God, people that people that chase after God. So Moses, we are seeing Enoch now again. We saw Moses now. Amen. So what? All about this is the story of Moses in the Bible. When God said that He is the one that is going to deliver the, you know, the, the Israel out from the hands of the, the, the oppressor, the, the, the Pharaoh. So, and then at first, we look at it very well. It was not very well. Though God has promised uh, 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 Moses that His one that is present is going to go with him, but Moses insisted. Moses did not just come and say, After all, God has already promised me that He's going to give me His presence. So that is where most of us we are missing this day. But the fact that we have received the revelation of whatever true dream that God has promised us something, which our other man of God has prayed for us and made many of us and said it's going to be well with you. So what do you do? You just go back home and you begin to sit down. You are not going anything about it because you have already believed that the man of God has prayed for you. It's true that the man of God has prayed for you. You know that the Bible makes us understand the book of First Corinthians. It says a great and effectual God is going to say, but there are many others. So you have to fight for your rights. Amen. Hallelujah. So Moses, God he has, he has received that promise that God has already told him that my presence will go with you. But Moses still insisted and said, Lord, I want if your presence will not go with me, I will not go. If your presence did not go with me, I will not go. And to the extent you know, he still is to, to that extent he said that the Lord has said, he said, I want to see you. So the Lord has said in that you should be verse 20 or so. Verse 20, he said, and he said, thou canst not see my face. God, this is the Lord, the Lord was not speaking to me. He said, you cannot see my face. He said, for there shall no man see me and live. That verse 21, he said, and the Lord said, behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. So, you shall stand upon the rock. Amen. Hallelujah. So, that, that verse 22, that he said, and he shall come to pass. Why my glory passes by? So the Lord was not describe because why, why was the Lord able to describe how he's going to see his back? It's because he insisted. He chased after the Lord. So when he chased after the Lord, the Lord relented and said, No, but the Lord already confirmed, No, it's okay by me. No, he said, No. I must do it. That's how to go a responsible, you know, a, a child that, that really, that is, that the Lord already, that is so grateful for, for, for God. Not only God, in every aspect of our life, like in our school now, maybe like, uh, I used to tell my daughter sometimes, you know, she would come back home and tell me, and uh, the, the teacher was saying this to the house, and you ask us to. Sometimes she would say yes, sometimes she would say, I would say, next time, if the question is not pleasant, ask the teacher. 
The teacher is there, they are begging for him to explain that thing to you. You will not be ashamed, don't be, don't be ashamed of anybody, it's your right. But that teacher is collecting salary because of that. Mm -hmm. So the same thing with God. If we don't ask God questions, there is no way we can say for them to die. So at the end of the day, God told Father to begin to explain to Moses that when he's trying to hold this rock, this is how I'm going to do it. So in that verse, he gave us a perfect understanding. He said, and it shall come to pass. Why my glory passes by that I will put thee in a clip of the rock. I will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And that last verse, that past, the, the last verse there, say, and I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my path. Pass, thou shalt see my back path, but my face shall not be seen. So at the end of the day, he was able to see the back of the Lord. So that is when we sit persistent. When you persist, you go once, they rejected you. Go second time, go third time, go fourth time. Continue to go. Continue to pray. Continue to pray for as Elijah did. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us understand the book of Luke. Luke chapter 18. Talks about the story of a woman, a widow, that keep on going, keep on persisting. When you're going to just judge. And keep on insisting for her rights. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, what happened? They'll just judge after say this woman did that. She's coming to be disturbing me all the time. Let me just give it to her whatever she made. So that is the same thing with God. When we begin to keep on chasing, keep on running. Even if I thought that the Lord is not even, oh you know, he has so many commitments. Imagine one God looking as they are praying now. Other people are praying. Not even not even talk. About this city and the whole world. Can you imagine that? But he's still having that time to pause, to accept to know what I think to him. So it's something that brings that attention. It's your persistence. It's your persistence that will make you to say, okay, this person is disturbing me too much. Let me do whatever he or she wanted to be for her. Amen. Hallelujah. So that is the result we saw. So we saw how Lord and Moses insisted, persist to run after God. And at the end of the day, that attention was given to him. So as we need to forget this understanding today, I pray that whatever is our need, whatever we wanted, God is going to pause and give it to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, 
for him to, you know, to be able to have Rachel, the second wife. So he sat, no, it's a very long story. So he sat for the for Rachel, the, the man told him that you are going to sat for seven years, and then after seven years, I will give you Rachel. At the end of the day, the man gave him the first uh, 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 wife, Leah. Uh, Leah. Uh, 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 uh. So after that, so he had to sat again. So all and all and all again, because of time, I'm just trying to summarize it. So it was facing different challenges, not until that very day. So we are talking about changing our heart of God. Until that very day, I don't look into your life and say, ah, this thing that is happening to me, you know, is no longer normal. From one problem to another, from one challenge to another. So have you ever sit down and begin to observe what, what am I going wrong? What am I supposed to do? Where is the solution going to come from? So until that very day, begin to look into his life and say, ah, this thing is no longer normal. Ah, let me forsake everything that I have. He was rich. He has to leave everything alone. And he was alone. And he was the first. God said that me and you today. Except you bless me. If you not bless me, I'm not believe you. Even though the has of the Lord said, I am going to be sorry, said no, I will not leave you. So from there you have to ask him, what is your name? Say my name is Jacob. Say, so from today you're going to come back to the and then we will not kiss you. Amen. Hallelujah. So God does shut him everything. You see the persistence, you see the love, the the, the, the that is the that, that's the put everything away. For you to be a chaser of God, for you to be able to chase God, there are many things that you need to put away. So we are coming to that, like the grace of God, the, book, the Matthew, the book of the Jesus told the disciples that yes, no, there are many things we are going to learn. So I don't want to give you a support, so I will just pause here. So for you to be a lawyer, for you to for your name to be recorded in the book of life, so you are there are many things that you have to put away for you to be a good chaser of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So I will stop here because of time. I'm trying to fast spend. I pray that Almighty will grant us understanding of what we have learned so far in the mighty name of Jesus. So by the next Sunday, try to be here on time so that we, there are so many, there are still many, uh, uh, so many uh, uh, stories that we are going to be seeing here. We are still going to see the book of Ezra, uh, the story of Ezra, Daniel, David, and so on and so forth. Please try to be here on time. Amen. Hallelujah. So we we'll stop here. Quite some conclusion. Whatever I say, no, I will do. Please, we are very free to speak. Hallelujah. Let's do that fast. No, there was also a question that was pending that last week. The question that our daddy asked. So we are giving answer to one part of it. The other part we have not been able to answer it. So we are still out of one. That one is still pending. So quite some conclusion, please. You are very free to speak. Okay, sir. Right on. Hallelujah. Example of God, God sees her. That means anybody that wants to follow God. So I will see the example of people following God until they are doing. Praise that God. Hallelujah. So I will see example of our end of that. He pleased God. So I will not to follow God, we need to please God. So I will not to follow God, we need to love God again. Praise that God. Hallelujah. And that if you want to follow God, you think you will go to the Lord. If you are a sin, I will not follow God. So I will not to follow God, you need to have your heart. That you love God, as you said, about that. Anyone that is, just like our work now, you know what you are doing. Any of the world that I said, you love God. Praise that Lord. Don't like everything you want to love now. Anything, 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 you need anything, you start to do it. You do all that thing, you want to love it. So if you can't try to love God, and take up to that, sometimes as an enemy you are facing in life, it's too much, but in order to escape it, you need to follow God. Mm -hmm. Because I think that uh, the God is facing, God is supposed to be because of the sin he committed by the right of his brother. But when it's the, the little that God is the solution, as he follow my own God, solution come out. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell God that in life, we can never try to follow God as a solution in our life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's thank God Jesus. Thank you so much for me to love God. Because what we are looking up in the morning, we want to go to our work, where we are going to see earn salary, we will give it all, that's the way we don't want to miss that job at all. But when it comes to the things of God, we begin to learn, no, it's not good. So that's what Papa David is telling us now. So that we see that we put on, we are chasing after money, after women, after whatever. So let's also put that seed to chase our God and we'll be able to express it. Amen. Hallelujah. Another person, please. Question, contribution, whatever I say, you are doing. Please, we are very free to speak against on the school. 
You know, this one is different from where the man himself is for the open preaching, so you cannot interrupt him. So this one you can interrupt me, please. It's your time now. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah. 
there is decided to ask question concerning uh, Jacob. He said, why? He said, we said Jacob was a man of God. He said, how is Jacob was able to overcome? So, that I was not telling us how to know the procedure, you know the what he uh, uh, or she needs to do if you want to be like Jacob. So, not that it was, was not that was so easy for Jacob. People, our brother, he has said it. No, the brother that gave contribution before, sorry, but I didn't know you made this. But I'm going to that. Amen. Okay, but as that's not necessary. So, but as I've explained to us that, you know, in this life, it's not that so easy to, that's just for those that don't even understand God. It's very difficult for them to run after God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You feel it so. You know, there are things in your life that are not going to keep us seeing repeated failure in your life. That will now give you an understanding. What are you doing now? You begin to imagine that ah, this thing is no longer, it's no longer so when you are not putting that in, when you are not considering that thing, you are not putting it into consideration is that you have another plan. Just as I said last year, you have plan B. So what do I mean by plan B? You know that you are a believer. In case if it doesn't, you put one leg in, you put your other leg out. As we are here right now, you know that there are some people that are still sending me this room. Now I'm going to go and see that as that for me. Go and see that perfect for me. So you still have another plan. Opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity to, 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 to hear this word. 
thank him, thank him, thank him. So it's not that anybody can get this opportunity. Those are the ones who are that did not get this opportunity. Those are in the hospital beds who did not have this opportunity. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to get to us to lay up your word, O Lord. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. There is no one like you, Lord. No one will compare to you. Thank you for the opportunity, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are thanked. Let's open our mouth and begin to ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for your mercy. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we ask for your mercy, Lord. Father, we ask for your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, Lord. Father, let your mercy rest upon us, O God. Let your mercy rest upon us, O God. Father, your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Your mercy, your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, Lord. Father, let me have mercy, O Lord, Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy, have mercy. Let me have mercy, O Lord, Father.
Yeah. Yeah. 
There's a one, there will be a time in one of us life that we must look for God. That you can come. That's why like those who go and tell somebody the Jesus of God, when I come, not for now, be your problem. But those who are doing the home. Just in the name of God. This is the Just go and do your home. Now here we can talk. Go and do. Evangelism is not as convenient, it's as commanded. Amen. Is that what? It's as commanded. As commanded. It makes your prayer to be answered. You are not choosing me. I'm choosing you. Then you go around and preach your people for them to be saved. I'm not going to be saved. Make sure that they stay in the church. And whatsoever you ask God in my name, God will give unto you. I see God granting you a witness. Everything that is disturbing you in life, that is being put in your life, I see God putting us out to it. I see, I see God putting us out to it. I see, I see God putting us out to it. God will put us out to it. If you send them, God will put us out to it. It brings honor to you. 
What is in evangelism? Number four, it brings honor to you. Daniel chapter 12. It brings honor to you. Daniel chapter 12. It, 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 it made God to really honor you. Amen? Are you following me? Yes. It made God, God to do what? To honor you. And when God honor you, you put that It made God to do what? Let's see Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as what? Brightness of the family. Brightness of the family, yes. And they that turn many to righteousness. Look at it. Look stars. at it. Those that spawn many people to know God, to righteousness, yes. As the stars forever and ever. Shall be what? Stars. Shall be stars forever and ever. Shall be stars. Those that turn people to the Lord shall be what stars forever and ever. Shall be stars. See, I see Proverbs chapter 14. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 28. Proverbs 14, verse 28. The last population is a king glory. No, Proverbs 14. 28. That was already. Yes. Yes. Verse 28. The last population. The last population is the king glory. Yes. But without subjects, a prince is ruling. No one can imagine. Who is the king of the world? In the multitude of, in the multitude of people is the king's honor. In the multitude of people is what? The king honor. What, what that one means? In the multitude of people is the king on what is the way? When there is multitude of people, God that is the king is what? Is honor. Now the end is that God wants the multitude to be saved. You don't fold your hands. Many people are like, true, true, ba 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 ba. Then they say, nah, they don't listen back. No, no, no. But in the multitude of people, is what king do what? Honor. God, they get honor when the multitude follow him. Is you that follow us? Praise the Lord. In the multitude of people, is the king honor. You honor God for going out to bring people to God. You are not knowing God. For what you to sit down when the king of all things is here. Now look now, I want to show you something. Look at first Samuel chapter 2. Now let's look at what God said. First Samuel chapter 2. Oh God help me. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 30. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 30. I said in your house, and in the house of the father, and in the house of the father, to walk before me forever. To walk before me forever. But now the Lord said, But now the Lord said, Be it far from me. Be it far from me. But then that honor me. Look at it. Anyone that honor me, they stop there. In the multitude of people, the king is honor. If you don't know what God said, look go. If they are honor me, I will do what? So what is the evangelism? It brings honor to you. You have been in this shop one year, two years. How many people have you brought to Christ? He said it's not you coming to the church alone. You know? Which people you don't save? Which people don't come to talk to you? What people have you said, this is my fruit in this church? Push people. You will feel measure this are my comfort. They come. They the concern, let me say. I don't care about your mother and sister. Look at what they say. Look at the second chapter. Let me show you something there. Before I go to the next one. The second chapter. 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 Second chap
Ezekiel chapter 20. Ezekiel chapter 20.
Amen. You got to go out so many sick there. You put it out the land and say, how many days you done that? And you say, God, see what you've done. You say, this hand. Mm. Go. You get out of the person. Let it go down. He stand up in the no problem. There's a strength that follows people that go. There's a strength that follows people that go. There's a strength that follows people that go. People that go. As you go out from the Genesis from today, I see signs and wonders following you in the name of Jesus Christ. As well as you go out from the Genesis from today, I see signs and wonders going with you in the name of Jesus Christ. They shall go with you. I said they shall go with you. If you go out, they will go with you. If you go out, they will go with you. In the fuck they will go with you. In the fuck they will go with you. Oh, 
So by the grace of God, the women of faith, they are going to be having their women's convention on the last Sunday of October, which is on the 20th of October. I believe that the women, they are, they are, they are, they are ready. Amen.
what I believe is the presence of God to any individual in the darkness. And the fact of labor, I'm confessing I'm going to dedicate myself fully to this house of God.
Faz como eu vejo o telão. Ele se vê depois. É, você vê. Faz como eu vejo o telão. Entendeu? Pode ser, pode ser. Estabilou ele. Glory, glory. Glory, don't bring glory. So glory, eu vou pegar na glory.
Take the body.
Now say my feet. Say my feet. Say my feet. You are the symbol of my walking. My feet will not leave me to where danger is. My feet will take me to where my prosperity is. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now, not any part of the body that you are sick, that you are pain, you have anything, and not any part of the body that you want God to heal. And not any part of the body. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that everywhere that they have been anointed, I pray for healing. I pray for healing. I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance. Lord, let your healing flow through the anointing oil and heal them from every sickness and from every disease. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. As you go back this week, you shall experience the water of signs and waters. This week shall be a week of blessing. In this country of fitness, as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you go out this week, you shall experience commotion of signs and waters in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed this week. Your God that is blessed, your coming back is blessed in the name of Jesus. You will not see accidents. You will not see death in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And everybody will say, Amen, 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 Amen in Jesus' name. Let me come to the share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the truth.